What's going on YouTube? This is your girl, Leighan Alinda. And before we get into today's video, I'm going to need you guys to stop what you're doing and press that big juicy red button down below and also smash that bell notification. So every time I upload a new video, you'll be the first to know. Okay, you guys, so today's video is all about studying. So like I said in my last video, which you should check out, I explained that I am a nursing student. So I'm in my final semester. <laughs> we at the end, girl. I am studying for my exit HESI. So if you know anything about nursing school and HESIs and all that jazz, you would know that they are basically kind of like a standardized test that we take every semester and it's basically testing all of the knowledge that we learn in that course at the end of the semester. So I'm in semester five, so I have taken a HESI and every semester I've been in nursing school now. So this is my exit one. So basically everything is combined. So that's what I will be studying for in this video. You'll see me at my uh, table, you know, flipping through my notes and stuff like that. So I just wanted to show you guys exactly what I use to study for HESIs. So throughout nursing school, I have taken Fundamentals, Psych, um, Maternity and Pediatrics, Advanced or Critical Care, and now I'm about to take my fifth, my exit HESI. I hope I'm not forgetting one, but I think that's all of them. I've taken all those HESIs, and I'm going to show y'all what I use to study those. Okay, you guys, so the first book I am going to present to y'all is the actual HESI NCLEX RN Examination a comprehensive review so this is what the book looks like it's red it's kind of cute as you can see i have so many tabs in this book it's ridiculous so i have used this hissy book to prepare for all of my hissies and it's a lifesaver if i don't recommend anything enough i recommend you get this book now this book actually came in my book bundle that i purchased in semester one so yeah it was included in the in the bundle so i don't know if you guys um have to buy bundles at your school or whatever but i highly recommend buying this book if it doesn't come in the bundle it breaks everything up in each section from psych maternity and pediatrics med surge um advanced med surge and it gives you rationales um it gives you breakdown of specific disease processes it also gives you uh, medications pertinent medications and a tip that i can give you for any hissy that you'll take um hissy is really not that many questions every hissy that i've taken hasn't been over like 50 questions i can't tell you guys anything else i would stress to you guys that HESI is really um, like you can study for it, but it's a whole semester's worth of material. So it's kind of just like you know it or not. But I highly recommend you guys get this book. I would just go through and read through um, the book when I would prepare for the HESI. I read the book, read the rationales, I would read HESI hints on the side of the page and usually they are very helpful. Even if it is not the same question or, you know, that they're, they're asking in this book, if you're answering the questions that are in this book, even if it's not the same question that's on the HESI, usually when you read rationales, it'll help you answer another question most of the time. So you guys read your rationales. So 
and also this book comes with a online um, book that you can go on and answer practice questions you can take tests and assess your knowledge on that subject you know give you rationale i think i also got an audio book or something that came with it too so that's good for somebody who is like me and has a lot of electronics and you're always on the go and you don't really have time to carry around your actual book you can get on your phone pull up a quiz and you know take it or whatever so that's also a good thing about this book so highly 10 out of 10 recommend girl girl so the next book i'm going to talk to you guys about is the saunders comprehensive review for the NCLEX RN examination and this is the seventh edition so this book's a little bigger this is what she looks like she's blue she's kind of cute or whatever i don't have as many tabs in her as my other book but i also use her faithfully so let's get right into her this book is kind of like the other book that i just gave you guys the red one but it's bigger and it has a little bit more information in it and i recommend this for hissy and yeah like hissy too um or whatever but i also really highly recommend this for just your study like in your regular class and i say that because this book has a little tad bit more information um in it and it goes a little bit in depth and i have had a hard time while being in nursing school really focusing on what's you know important and what's not important and um if you're just getting in nursing school or you're you're applying to get in nursing school or anything like that you probably have already seen that it's nothing like your pre-greeks it's totally different um it's different studying they give you a lot of information and they only test you on basically life or death situations most of the time or the most important um concepts so i had to really learn that Oh, while well, being in nursing school and the book actually um, condenses material uh, for the most part like the other one but it's just not as condensed it still gives you a good meaty substance to it so you could use it for the um, HESI but I really recommend the red HESI book because that's like specifically for HESI this book's not specifically for HESI but if you want to use it you can I have not taken my NCLEX yet, so I don't know if that is, if this book is like really helpful for the NCLEX. I'll let y'all know when I take it because you already know that's another video. This uh, book is kind of like the other one I just showed you guys in the sense of it has an online workbook that you can go on to take quizzes. I think it goes up to like 100 questions or so. I don't know gives you an online workbook you can go through and answer questions it gives you the rationale you can see why a focus is on or whatever and you'll get to see it the it later on in the video but i just want to come through and really give y'all you guys a, a look at what the book looks like so this is what it looks like okay y'all so i'm about to begin studying so i want to show y'all what i'm using to study for the um exit hissy yes this is the book that i'll be using the nclex rn examination and this is the seventh edition so that's what i'll be using today to study i've used this book all throughout nursing school to prepare for my exams and study and i really like this book because it kind of just narrowed down topics that were kind of like the hot topics of e unit so i like that so i'll be studying using this to help study for my exam um so i've already been doing questions for the exam and i've been doing the study mode so um they have a couple different modes they have assessment study exam mode which is basically like taking a regular exam and then you get feedback after you turn in the exam test list i've never used that bookmarks and audio reviews so i'll just be using the study one and that's basically you just uh, answer practice questions and it gives you instant feedback answer the question to see um and it tells you gives your rationale so i'll be using that so okay so i press study 
you can select a category. I probably, I wanna uh, focus on a specific content area. Um, so I'm gonna press that and it gives you subcategories. And I have really been focusing on maternity and pediatrics since that is the HACI exam that I did not do so well on. Um, so I've been focusing on maternity and pediatrics. So I probably will do peds today and it gives you all different kinds of um, topics to focus on within the pediatric category. So let's see if I select all. See, if you select all, it gives you 5,000 questions to answer, so I won't be doing that. Like I said, I'll be just doing the pediatric category. And so I want to do everything within PEDS. So I'll just select the PEDS box, like so. And yeah, so I'm going to begin answering those questions. And say, you know, it says it's gonna give me 438 questions. So say, you know, you're on question 150 and you wanna take a break or whatever, you can book actually bookmark your place. So I, I really like that about this um, software or whatever. And um, yeah, so if you wanna see how I study for my exit HESI RN exam, continue watching. question of 438 so I just want to see y'all uh, show y'all how this actually works so you answer a question they give you a question and they give you four choices or you know you get select all that apply sometimes you choose one read through the answer choices it tells you if you got it right if you got it right you got a little green check mark if you get it wrong it'll mark an x on the uh, red x on the wrong thing or the wrong, wrong question and it'll put a green check mark by the correct answer so i really like this because i don't know if you can see down here you can see it gives you the rationale strategy to answer the question and references to go back and look at and like it gives me the rationale or whatever um it gives you the hierarchy on the on um i think it's maslow's hierarchy or whatever that pyramid so it gives you all that um this was off the evaluating section so uh client needs integrated process the area that um you know, we were focusing on, which was peas, and it was it came from the integrity material system. So, um, this also gives you strategies to answer this question: ABCs, breathing, circulation, and strategic words. So, it, this was really an ABC question, and it gave you some concepts that were of priority to think about while answering this question. And so, that's one of the reasons why I really like this. Um, you know, this other books that Elsevier has came out with, um, or Silver Street Saunders or whatever that they have. So I advise y'all to check those out and you know, if when in doubt, just do practice questions and don't forget um reading the rationales actually really help you with the answering questions. I know it sounds crazy, but I was not doing very well 
in the um, nursing school until I started doing practice questions, practice questions and reading rationale. So that is uh, one big tip that I have for you guys. Um, if you're preparing to take tests within nursing school or, you know, if you're like me about to graduate, stuff like that, or if, if you're just getting into nursing school, I, I advise y'all to do practice questions, practice questions, practice questions, because they will save your life. Okay, you guys, I don't know if I mentioned this before I showed you guys the books and stuff, but I have been successful on all of my essays except one. The one that I'm talking about is maternity and pediatrics. I was not successful on that HESI, and let me tell you girls why. So, in my maternity and pediatric class, um, I liked it. It was cool, whatever. A whole bunch of stuff. But when it came to the actual Hesse, um, I don't know, I just couldn't get with her. I couldn't I couldn't get with her. She was a hard child. I feel like I kind of prepared, but then I kind of did it. I just wasn't successful on that one. But everyone else I have passed with just using uh, those two books that I just showed you guys. So I'm going to leave you guys with a couple more tips. Um, those are basically the only two books that I have for you guys today. But also to prepare for HESI, I recommend um, not overthinking it. Most questions, if you think they're the correct answer choice, go with your first mind. I know a lot of people, you know, have that uh, problem when taking tests, especially in nursing school, because if your nursing school is anything like mine, you do not have the option of going back. So once you hit that button and submit your answer, you can't go back. So don't change your answer. If you think it is the right answer the first time, nine times out of 10 is correct. Study, but don't overstudy. Uh, I had that problem earlier in nursing school. I would overstudy and try to overcompensate. And then when I would take the test, I would see, A, I either knew way too much and I didn't have to study, or I was actually studying so much, I was getting to questions and overthinking them. I was going deeper into a question than what was actually asked. So I recommend do not do that. Study, set you a plan, get you a planner, and set out time for you to study and you know just go through and say from 9 to 11 I'm going to study from 11 to 1 or 11 to 12 30 or whatever you want to do it I'm going to go grab lunch from 2 to 3 I'm going to take a nap 3 I'm going to begin my studying like I don't cram all day because it will not work <laughs> you will not work you will not be successful and it will turn back quick last tip I will give you guys is really just take the damn test like just take it I'm sure you'll do better than what you think you'll do I would recommend you guys you know use some of these tips that I'm giving you guys um they're very beneficial was the end of my video I only had those two books for you guys to uh, see for Hesse I really like those two books. I think they will do you great service or whatever if you choose to use them. I've taken the TEAS test also. So if you want to know how I prepare for the TEAS test, comment down below or like the video if you want to see how I prep for that. If you want to see more from me, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. That's the big one. Subscribe, you guys. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more content from me. And you know what it is. We out. I got everything on.